Hey, what's up guys? Murder Toys here. Today we're playing Alone in the Dark. Now you may remember that I started this off on the channel before it got deleted. So I thought I'd head back again and actually do this from the very start. Not only that will this help me uh, flush out a few demons as I talk about life and talk. such, but also try and get up you guys immersed in it. So in certain you. parts I'm gonna just, just shut up or maybe uh, really throw a, a, a very sarky comment on top of this. Anyway, I'll leave you to watch this for that like uh, 10 seconds or whatever it is. Who can manipulate the stone? You don't want to compromise everything we've worked for, do you? No, sir. I didn't think so. Mr. Hammett, you and I will escort Paddington. Mr. Scov, take the rag doll up to the roof and kill him. Consider it done. Now! Right, so let's get straight into this. Alone in the Dark, um, this was released in 2008. It's done by the developers that are bringing us uh, Black Death. It is, uh, that's, uh, there's so many different versions of this. There was a PC version that had obviously higher graphics, better resolution. There was an Xbox and PlayStation version. Now the Xbox version was pretty much a lower port of the PC version. And the PS3 version was, was considered the... Uh, I suppose the most superior out of all of them, purely because it had better controls, and that was the one thing that, you know, IGN and other people really ripped on this game. They thought it was an awesome game, it had an awesome horror side of it, and it's just that, that the controls were so fiddly. Like, once you got used to it, it's fine, but you, you should never have to adapt to that fiddliness, uh, you know, for that. And um, also there was a uh, developed... Uh, uh, can't get the words out of my mouth, it's like uh, someone stuck a frog down it and made it dance or something. Anyway, so yeah, there was a Wii version and a PS2 version, and uh, yeah, they were considerably like uh, a lot smaller, uh, given the size, I suppose, of the consoles and stuff like that. And this this was my favourite part, this is, uh, well, not my favourite part, the most, uh, most investing part of the whole of this game for me was when uh, the woman goes, you are my perfect puppet. I uh, I think that uh, that's, that's pretty friggin' awesome and stuff. But as you can see, like at the start there, you know, like I was going blind and I'm still doing it here, I have to squint. On the PlayStation and on the, the Xbox, there was actually a um, an achievement. So I think it was called Blindsided or something like that, and you'd get like 15G. And it was, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a real sod actually, because you would actually, because of, because of the way the controls are, that basically the, 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 the hideous thing about the controls sometimes in this game is that you can go for a first person shooter kind of control so obviously I'm pressing forward just to go forward you know it's not confusing and taxing too much of my brain cells and then suddenly it will throw you in a resident evil retarded breakdown version of it where you're pressing up oh to go down and you know given that the uh, I don't know the cinematic camera angle it just it just never worked and it's something called even on the PlayStation 3, there's about two or three scenes on the PlayStation 3 um, that just don't work still. Incidentally, actually, the PlayStation 3 version actually gives you more content. It kind of puts you, um, I think, halfway through, uh, near the, right near the end bit, there's a there's a part with a massive train and like this spider monkey thing. And, oh my god, it's so short-lived. I, I reckon it's literally five minutes of extra play, so... I don't know. Anyway, anyway, so moving straight on, uh, immerse you a little bit in the in the plot. Just dip, you, dip your little feet in. What if he doesn't show us the path? What if he tries to screw us? That's not an option. He'll do exactly what we want. Are you listening, Paddington? There's ways to torture a man that go far beyond the frail limits of flesh and bone. We went through a lot of trouble to get you and that stone together, Theo. You're the only one who knows how to use its power. Direct it. Guide it. You'll be our light bringer. If you don't, your suffering will be legendary. You're insane. If you saw what happened in there, it won't work. Yeah, well, let's see. Did you hear that? Did you hear it? What the fuck is that noise? What noise? It's those cracks again. They... Shit, they're back! They're Shut back! Up, damn it! Okay, 3, 2, 1, we're back in the room. 
Now, I just noticed uh, upon the Xbox and on the PlayStation that the Mortal Kombat trilogy has come out. And how sneaky were they? They were actually independent single games that they were charging 800 points for. Now they've. I suppose it's good that they've clapped them all together. But my god, they've been sneaky over that, you know? And uh, talking about uh, being sneaky on all, all things Mortal Kombat. I remember talking about when I was a when I was a kid, like you know, like uh, well, I say, a kid. I, I don't mean that disrespectfully. When I was 15 to so like 10, you know, at least more than 10 plus years ago, when I was in Tambridge House School, none of us could grow beards. I know this is a different subject matter, and you're probably like, what the hell? But uh, yeah, none of us could grow a beard, and there was this one guy called David Woods who could actually grow the boss beard. You know, for a 15 year old, it may have been a bit straggly, but it was still the boss. And he was the only one who could get like 18 video games for us and get like, um, you know, like I was really into like uh, Japanese anime, like, you know, like manga stuff. It was nothing but manga videos and like uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, just like, you know, real uh, harsh computer games. And I remember I paid him the premium of having like, he got me, uh, I think th this was the joke, man. I was older than David. I was like, I was 15 and he was, uh, he was just coming up 15 and he managed to get served in MVC. And MVC used to be like these shops, I suppose they're kind of like, um, I don't know, maybe perhaps Best Buys like they are in America, but you get like this card, and you get the, the full retail price, and you get the MVC price. And I remember we pimped out his beard to like nearly everyone, we were like, honestly, like uh, we were the entrepreneurs, like I was like, David, we're onto a good thing, you know, we can, we can get these kids the alcohol, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. But yeah, I, I'm not telling you guys to, uh, you know, find a man who, with a beard. That just sounds strange. What I'm telling you is if you've got men your own age with beards, just utilize them. Put, put one in your team because you never know when you actually may need them. Now this part I think I cocked up on here. I actually tried to pause the game purely because I, I was like, you know what? These guys need to, these guys need to listen to the, uh, the subtitles. Listen to subtitles. I I tr you couldn't even tell that I put five sh sugars in my tea, could you? My, my brain is just off. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I choose here to move a table purely because it was in my way. But the, yeah, the uh, I, I really like this scene. This this scene for me really just immerses everything that was is, is decent about this game. Because they try and make you use the environment just to, uh, I don't know, just blend it all together. Uh, definitely the way that you, f you fight fire and stuff like this. Now, this could be a bit tedious. I, I remember the flames though being like some of the best flames I saw for back in the day and a lot of people always think that this game came out on the Xbox. It did not come out on the Xbox, well technically it did. It came out on the 360, like I, I noticed a few people on my um, the video for, on the old channel that they were like, oh this was a great Xbox game. Well actually you know it was a it was a 360 game actually buddy. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah sorry, sorry about that, I'm just a bit been a bit sarky today I suppose. Uh, actually uh, something I've really been uh, watching that's really made me laugh is uh, I'm a huge, uh, I mean I'm, I'm not so much a, a fan of like Japanese anime stuff like I used to be because a lot of that stuff I, I see through it now it's not because I think oh it was all pretentious and shit it's just because um, I like just really dark humor and uh, there's a there's a show an American sh uh, TV uh, show that's on Adult Swim and it's called The Venture Brothers and it has like a it's Brock Sampson, uh, you know, Rusty, Runchy Venture, um, I'm just trying, I try to, I totally forgotten the rest of their names, but it's just, uh, it's really messed up, like, they have this guy called the Monarch, and he has a girlfriend that has the most deepest man voice you'll ever see, but seriously, if you just want to have a laugh, and you, you know, you're pretty light-hearted, but you're open-minded to, like, comedy stuff, then just type in the Adventure Brothers, it's just, it's just on a completely, completely different level. You would think that it, like I got so bored there that I just well I didn't get bored I got so frustrated with the bloody, bloody bloody extinguisher that I just had to eat full full for it in the end. Let's get this look look at my feet I'm slowly burning just this is what I'm doing for you guys the sacrifices I'm making this was the most pathetic jump seriously like that was look it, look how the hell like the game must have just had a sympathy vote for me it's just like yes you he really <laughs> he's in desperate need. Now the gun pickups here, see that little scene there where, you know, I try to go into the guy there. That's the painful shit in this game that I'm talking about because it takes, you know, your forward axis that you would use in your first person and then it just throws it round and you're having to press left to move forward and stuff like that. Look at this, this is like, this, you just wouldn't mess about. This is kind of the hint here that fire destroys the, you know, the rip in the crack of, uh, of, uh, this monster. I, I had to pause and I put the, the mystical effects on the monster got to me. 
Anyway, I'm going to heal myself, and uh, this obviously must be the special healing equipment that, uh... Actually, wow, I didn't heal myself. I swear to God I healed myself. Alright, anyway, guys, this is, uh... Yes, look at that. Look at that. It's completely, completely, uh... Solved my genes for me. It's like a 2020 medication or something. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Until next time.